And sometimes we don't realize that we perpetuate that ideology in certain church settings, not all, but in certain church settings, we can act in a certain kind of way or promote certain ideals. And the child that hears it feels the shame as if it's their fault. And I remember that there was no safe place. It happened in youth group, wherever there were boys, it happened. And so finally, when I was in high school, I was in a public school. My parents allowed me to go. They realized that I was in AP classes and wanted to take languages and all of that. So they knew I was a good kid. I was mature enough. So I went. I brought my Bible to that public school. And I remember I was called frigid. I was called ice queen. And I was called lesbian because I refused to allow myself to be touched. I don't know, but I guess in, in, you know, the public school setting, I would see boys, you know, smack a girl's behind and the girl would giggle. That was not me. One boy tried it and I had him up against the wall with my elbow on his windpipe because that's what dad taught me. <laughs> dad was like, don't let anybody touch you. You know, you remember. And, and if you ever, and my father always said to me, my dad would say, if anybody lays their hands on you, you will never get in trouble for, for laying a hand back. He's like, because we don't play that way. 